you're looking for a dismantle and repaste video on this laptop let's get started then we'll first start with prying this little cover off over here and there's one little screw over here Now during this whole disassembly process, just make sure to like properly keep the screw somewhere and not lose anything. And basically pull it from here. And be careful not to like uh, put too much force on it, just carefully pry it off as uh, these, there's like plastic clips and you don't want to break them. Just take your time. The quicker you do this, the higher chance of make it breaking something. And then it's off. These are the little clips I was telling you about. You do not want to break these. This one here, here, here. And keep this somewhere safe, along with its screw. Next, you want to take the hard drive out and uh, the SATA connector here along with the power connector and there's another connector over here I'll start with the hard drive now you'll notice that uh, my laptop here it got that Patriot RAM over there it doesn't, didn't really come with the stock I had I added that later if you're wondering why your one doesn't have it it's because mine was originally 8 GB and ended up another 8 GB stick okay. And this should now come out. But then before you do that, pull this guy out. And thus your hard drive is released. Again, keep it somewhere safe. Moving on to another clip over here. Connection actually. You'll notice it has a little plastic thing over here. Use that as a pull tab. It is actually a pull tab. It should come right out. And again, be careful you want to be looking at the connector. Next, you want to remove the screws. You will see one over here, 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 here. Oh, by the way, you'll notice this little, this little glue like thing over here. What you see here, that's actually a thread locker basically prevents the screw from coming off from like vibrations or something which is not really an issue but basically expect it to be gone right now if you noticed what i did was i put the screw in the respective position this is in order so that if you notice all the screws are not really the same size you really don't want to be shoving the wrong screw at the wrong place so just try to keep them somewhat understandable where they belong After you would take out all the screws, you'll notice it's still not really actually coming off. That's because there's still plastic clips holding it in. In order to take that out, I This is editing me. You see me use those plastic cards there trying to open the back panel off. But that's actually a very bad idea. You're probably gonna give yourself a lot more hassle than it's needed. It would be better if you invested in those prying tools. You can find them on eBay or Amazon. It will be cheaper on eBay, but shipping takes forever. And uh if you use those it's quite easy all you have to do is place the tool in between the gap and just after you insert it manage to insert just pull on it a bit it'll create a gap and just pull on it and it's gonna the clip is gonna open and you just repeat this process as you move to the left or to the right and you'll find that each clip just opens up easily and this will reduce the chances of you breaking any of the clips and in my case i managed to get away with it but it's very risky just invest in the right tools. This is when I started pulling on it from piece by piece and one of the clips starts coming off one by one. The 
the moral of the story is have the right tools. It would have made it much easier if you just, just put it right in there and just leverage it up. But that's basically what this job is. If you end up using a card like me, this is basically what I did, just in my case I started at the corner. setting this aside next now that we're inside first let's take out, out the battery I mean it's kind of the battery next you want to remove the fan under there's one over here and one over here and be really careful these wires are super thin and super easy to damage and I'm using a metal Now with the two fan enders removed, we need to remove the screws that is holding the cooler down. That's one here. No, that's pretty much it. Oh, I forgot to mention there's two more here. I took a short break and went out and got a different tip for this because I know this isn't the regular Philips. There's something different about it. But basically, you experiment around and find the right tip. This is the one I ended up using. With that, this is out. So basically, you want to replace your clean this out with isopropyl alcohol. There's two. And also, on the surface here, be careful. Uh, do not leave any residue. And apply a fresh coat of new thermal paste you want to use. In my case, I am going to use this Noctua NH1. I got this a long time ago, but I still haven't finished it. It's pretty good. In your case, uh, basically uh, look for whichever you can find a good deal on. Or try to find a decent one like this one. Oh, by the way, if you notice, I made a mistake here. It turns out for this one, you don't really need to take these fans out. This, this piece comes out by itself. So you don't really need to take this off or the fan or you can leave this here. That saves you the trouble. Now that I'm done cleaning it up, I'm going to be putting it back together. First, by applying a new coat of thermal paste, I'm going to put a tiny drop. If you notice, I kind of smeared it up. I was trying to be too careful, I ended up messing up. <laughs> but anyway, it is fine. The amount I put was enough, and it's going to spread out once the heat spreader comes in contact with the processor.
Uh, now that I'm done tightening all of them, all there is left is to disconnect, to reconnect this back, and that's pretty much it. I'll just double check all the screws, this one is not wrong. It's all connected and uh, tight enough. How would you understand it's tight enough? Um, uh, basically, the point where you don't have to force it. Know when it stops. You gotta do it by feel. And uh, yeah, everything's connected. This one's connected, this one's connected. Uh, again, be very, very careful with both, both, both of those. That's done. And now it's putting the panel back on. One second.
end of the video now and as you can see everything's working well and if you look really close it's actually a few weeks later and everything's been working great the temps has been generally lower and speaking of temps I have another video after this which where I'll compare all the before and after if you want to see it I'll have it linked down in the description and you can check it out thanks for watching I wonder how many people will be left I think will it be like 15 minutes long it'll probably be 16 minutes by the time it's actually over mm. Is anybody still watching? <laughs>